All right, good afternoon, everyone. Hopefully, everyone's having a good morning. Uh, yesterday, we did the same venue. We recognized about 50 or so uh, enlisted superior performers, primarily from the Navy. Uh, they're seated here towards my left, uh, and we're going to introduce them to you in a minute. So if the command POCs could come and join me on the stage. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm retired fleet master, Chief Paul Kingsbury. I now work at the U.S. Naval Institute, engaged in outreach, uh, particularly with the enlisted reach. Uh, it's my honor and privilege to join you all today here. Uh, each year, the Naval Institute and AFSEA host this luncheon to recognize the service, capabilities, and accomplishment of sailors, Marines, and Coast Guardsmen from local area commands. So in addition to today's recognition, the recipients will receive a one-year gratis membership to the U.S. Naval Institute and to AFSEA. And I've talked briefly to many of them, but I look forward to talking to you guys afterwards to explain what the benefits of those memberships bring you. These outstanding naval professionals were selected by their leadership to be recognized for their outstanding service and are just a small sample of the talent that is serving forward worldwide and fighting across the spectrum of warfare communities and specialties today. They are professional, educated, aware, capable, and they want to and are making a difference in our naval forces every day. The professionals we recognize today are the result of the shift to an all-volunteer force and decades of investment in policies and programs such as leadership and management education, advancement process improvements, and off-duty education opportunities which have prof professionalized and educated our enlisted force. Today, our point of contacts will recognize the service members from Space and Naval Warfare Systems Command, Navy Medicine West, and Navy Region Southwest. And at this point, I'll, court, I'll work with each point of contact to introduce you to these outstanding performers. I ask that each awardee stand when their name is called and then hold our applause until all the awardees for each rep are presented. So Mass Chief Cintron of Space and Naval Warfare Systems Command, please join me. Good afternoon. Thank you to all the sponsors that are hosting this event and allowing us the opportunity to uh, recognize these fantastic sailors. So uh, from Space and Naval Warfare Systems Command Headquarters, we have YN3 Tamara Graham. Please stand. We also have ITCM Samantha Corbin. YN2 Ashley Patterson. Their Sailor of the Year, PS1 Petsamai Sangdao Ellis. YN2, Jason Smith. Also from our Space War Space Field activity out of Chantilly, out of Virginia, is YN1, DeMont McMillian. That's their SOY. CTTCS, Patrick Johnson. From our Space, and Space War Systems Center Atlantic, out of Norfolk, AVCM, Michael Moncus. And here locally from Spare War Systems Center Pacific, we have LS2 Joseph Berry, their Sailor of the Year, ND1 Kyle Coughlin, IT1 Narcisco Cruz, ETCM Jason Dupree, ETC Jeff Durham, LS2 Carlos Marcos, IT1, Dustin Rogers. LS1, Gregory Sarnowski. And ITS1, Michael Loicano. And these are our ESP sailors. All right, thanks, Pablo. All right, Command Master Chief Mangarin of Navy Medicine West. And to all the sponsors, really appreciate your time in uh, setting this all up together to recognize our enlisted superior performers. So without further ado, from uh, Camp Pendleton, Naval Hospital Camp Pendleton, HM3 Casey Savannah, HM1, sorry, Miwa Castro, and HM3 Bridget Lopez from Camp Pendleton Hospital. 
And then from Naval Medical Center San Diego, we have H1 Janice Beard, HM2 Shannon Cobb, HM2 Curtis uh, Cortez Poole, HM1 Gabrielle Delera, HM3 Kevin Matthews, HM3 Joseph Vargas, actually I missed two from Camp Hilton, sorry about that, H1 Michael Peters, and HM2 Michael Pilati. And again, these are your Navy Medicine West Warriors. Thank you very much. And finally, Region Mass Chief Fitzgerald, Navy Region Southwest. Good afternoon, everybody. It's, uh, it's great to be here with you all. And on behalf of Rear Admiral Lindsay, Commander Navy Region Southwest, we appreciate this gracious opportunity to be here. So for uh, Navy Region Southwest, ACAA Raekwon Brinson, ET3 Kyra Citizen, LS2 George Flores, BM2 Michael Kimbrough, MA2 Diego Liu, CSS1 Samuel Lewis, BM3 Ray Nunley, MA1 Kale Pemberton, BM2 Victor Soraya Ortiz, MA3 Anthony Vasquez, and CS1 Michael Murphy. Navy Region Southwest. One, one important point here, so this is an opportunity to learn from both sides. So this is, an op this is end user, so it connects the technology that's on that floor with the end user, an opportunity to learn. So I encourage the sailors here, go explore the floor, find what supports your warfare specialty or what could be, and then it, as you see them walking around in uniform, pull them in and get their feedback so we can all learn uh, to make our fleet uh, better to fight. So thanks again, ladies and gentlemen. One more round of applause for all our awardees.